for this example, I wanted to showcase the Unreal Engine for use for doing kind of cinematic workflows as opposed to game development. What I'm going to do is open up the Epic Games Launcher, and they actually have lots of great uh, free tutorials and things like that, demo scenes. This uh, city sample is gigantic and a really uh, interesting one to take advantage of and take a look at. But what I've got here is uh, in the library, I'm using Unreal Engine 521, and I've loaded up one that the, uh, Epic Games gives away called the Meerkat Demo. And I'm going to open this project up. I've already uh, you know, installed it on my system. It's a pretty hefty download. And like I said, it's a cinematic uh, series of shots, much in the same way you would do a short film. But obviously, we're going to be taking advantage of GPU rendering. So here you can see down at the bottom here, we've got a, a timeline. And I, as I scrub the timeline, you can see that I've got our little meerkat character there. And what I want to do is I want to lock the camera to the viewport so that I can see that I've got this you know, beautiful shots, all these different cameras takes. You can probably hear the audio over me uh, talking. But what we've got here is the full Unreal Engine. So again, if I go to wireframe, you can see a full 3D environment. Now I'm going to go to the lit view, and what I've done is taken advantage of the GPU and there's a there's a feature in here again this is not going to be a huge unreal tutorial but there's this movie render queue and I have all these different shots set up inside of unreal engine but what I could do is choose to render out this main sequence and I can save that to disk uh, much in the same way you would typically use a render farm or something like that but once again we're using unreal engine to use the GPU and again in this case the Radeon Pro W 7600 here, 8 gigabyte, and we're going to render that out at 4K resolution. One more thing I wanted to show you is that inside of the engine here, if I play this back, you can see that I'm up at the very top there. I'm getting well over 30 frames a second, so this is a full real-time enabled solution. Once again, this is all happening on the GPU, and you can see that if I actually uh, sort of split the screen here and go to our GPU monitor, uh, forgive my resolution here for doing the webinar, uh, but once I give uh, Unreal Engine the focus, you can see there on the right, our GPU is in fact pegged at 99%, and we're getting uh, really over 70 frames per second uh, in Unreal Engine right now. So again, really, really obvious gains for using Unreal Engine or something like Unity for doing shot-based productions, much in the same way you would do inside of a traditional uh, DCC tool. So now I'm going to open up DaVinci Resolve. Uh, there's a free version of Resolve, and I'm running DaVinci Resolve Studio. Uh, this is the latest release. Um, and what I'm going to do is actually take a look at that footage that we rendered out uh, at 4K resolution. So if I jump over here into my uh, C drive, I've got a temp directory with my Meerkat footage. And you can see over here on the right, we've got it rendered out at 3840 by 2160 or a common 4K resolution. Now, one I don't want to call it a problem, but you can see here that single image sequence has been rendered out. We have all of our great shots you know, rendered out really beautifully. And I can go ahead and play that back nice and real time, no problem. In, uh, DaVinci Resolve. But what I want to do is take advantage of an interesting new feature. And it's actually using the AI chips that are on the AMD Radeon Pro graphics cards. What I'm going to do here is a great feature in Resolve. I'm going to right click and I'm going to say Scene Cut Detection. And what that's going to do is load up that single image sequence with all these different shots and it's going to look for the camera sh uh, cuts. And I'll show you this is happening on the GPU right now. Our GPU is currently loafing and not really doing much of anything. I'm going to say auto scene detect and you can see that it's popping through and it's actually using the GPU and artificial intelligence to locate where these camera cuts are. Now as opposed to a single clip and it's already done, what I can do is say add cuts to the media pool and close down this viewport and you can see now I have all of these different shots that were rendered out of Unreal Engine. Once again, I'm not going to turn this into a huge uh, DaVinci Resolve tutorial, but I'm going to say go from uh, importing media over into our edit workspace, drag and drop these down into our timeline, and now you can see that I've got that timeline with all of the different takes or the different cuts that I could do continue to work you know, in, in real time. Now one thing I wanted to point out about DaVinci Resolve is if you come up here 
into the preferences there's an area for memory and GPU and you can leave this on automatic most of the time but I've turned it off to actually manually say and show that we're using OpenCL as our rendering engine and then we are in fact using the AMD Radeon Pro W7600. An interesting side note is that uh, DaVinci Resolve is one of the few applications, I uh, shouldn't say few, but one of the applications that can take advantage of multiple GPUs. So if you're using the professional version of DaVinci Resolve, you can actually queue up uh, several GPUs and take advantage of that extra horse horsepower and processing power. But once again, a couple of other things that interesting to show you here. Um, say, for example, I grab this clip right here of the of the eagle or the hawk. I could come in and do uh, maybe some color correction. And I'm going to just do this as a real extreme example. Maybe just crank this into a purple look. Obviously, this isn't a beautiful color correction. But I just wanted to show sort of the non-destructive nature of this timeline. So now I've got this crazy purple shot. But in the overall edit, it's continuing to be, you know, a part of the, the greater story. So the finesse is there, and all of these tools are being accelerated on that AMD hardware. Lastly, when you're going out to finally render this thing out, I could come up here and say, you know, let's go to a deliver. And now it's a very familiar sort of queue, as we've seen in other applications, and I can choose different codecs. But interestingly enough, I can say here, uh, let's say maybe MP4, and we're using that AV1 codec as an option, but we also have the type of AMD. So this is native hardware encoding right out of DaVinci Resolve using that AMD Radeon Pro W7600. So once again, a really quick look at using the Unreal Engine as a solution for doing uh, 3D rendering and DaVinci Resolve as a nonlinear solution, all taking advantage of the uh, graphics power of the Radeon Pro.